Thank you, Whitney. Um, next, we have Martina Cosnovega. She is from Dr. Michael Rosen's lab in the Department of Biophysics, and Martina is in the Biological Chemistry program. Before starting her PhD, Martina was a pharmacist in Poland. She's a big enthusiast of science communication and outreach, and in her free time, she likes to cook, write a science blog, swim, and watch good movies. Her talk is entitled, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, The Story of Evil Phase Separation in Cancer. Cancer is one of the main causes of death worldwide. In fact, it's so common that by the end of my three minute talk, five more Americans will have been diagnosed with cancer. In my PhD in the Rosen lab, I study a very scary type of cancer called nut carcinoma. It's particularly aggressive because patients on average survive less than one year from the time of diagnosis. Like in all other types of cancer, also in nut carcinoma, there is a Dr. Jekyll molecule who is normally a good guy, but at some point undergoes a transformation and becomes cancer triggering Mr. Hyde. While nut carcinoma is still very poorly understood, we know that the Dr. Jekyll here is a protein called nut, shown in my slide as this orange-red bar. This protein is normally found only in male testes, but in nut carcinoma it gets fused with another protein called BRD4, shown in my slide as this blue bar, and in this way Dr. Jekyll becomes Mr. Hyde. Now the fusion protein is not specifically localized to testes anymore and it can show up in any part of male or female body. And the two components of this fusion work together to cause cancerous cell transformation. It has been previously shown that our evil Mr. Hyde or brd 4 nut fusion protein can form droplet-like structures inside cells, like the ones I'm showing here in the center of my slide. Now, if you remember from school that liquid is one of the phases of matter, you might also remember that sometimes if we try to mix two liquid phases together, like for example, oil and water, they won't mix very well, but rather phase separate and form droplets. Well, it turns out that our BRD4 nut droplets are actually behaving very similarly to these oil and water droplets. Therefore, we also call this phenomenon phase separation. My hypothesis is that phase separation of BRD4 nut is important for the development and progression of nut carcinoma. And in my project, I aim to understand how does the change of Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde lead to the formation of these phase separated droplets, and in turn, how does the occurrence of the carcinoma depend on it? So far, I found that only a very small fragment of nut is really necessary in fusion with BRD4 for the formation of these liquid droplets in cells. I also recently learned that this minimal BRD4 nut can actually cause some, some cancer-related changes in cells very similarly to the full-length BRD4 nut protein. This discovery holds a great promise for targeting medicines against this minimal part of nut to control its phase separation. I hope this, but, that by undertaking this unique approach of studying the physical mechanisms of how these proteins phase separate, I can inspire new nut carcinoma therapies in the future. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> 